welcome to an unboxing of a product that I think people are pretty excited about. I know I am. Corsair has fans now. So fans. Okay. Not complicated, right? There's like a motor in the middle, inside the hub. There's, uh, you know, blades that like spin around. There's a frame. What all can be done in order to innovate on fans? Well, I think we've seen over the last couple of years that a lot can be done to innovate on fans. Higher quality bearings will reduce noise. Um, more, better design, the, okay, better design into the exact shape, the design of the blades can improve airflow. And you can also do a bunch of other stuff. So Corsair has, okay, check this out. They have replaced what would be a more of a traditional, just either closed or open corner fan design with sort of a, uh, it's got the advantages of closed corner in that it's a little bit more solid, it's a little bit more sturdy. It's got the advantages of open corner in that you can more easily affix um, short screws through them and sort of like run screws in from this way and bolt them into a radiator or whatever else the case may be. I mean, it'll take a little bit of work at it, but there you go. And then they've also put in noise dampening. So noise dampening is a huge thing for fans because no matter how smooth the rotation of your fan is, no matter how awesome your bearing is, there's always going to be a little bit of vibration passed along to the case. So using rubber here, here, here and here means that it's pretty difficult for that vibration to be passed to your case. You can also see little, little touches like using all black connectors and all black wires. These are things that Corsair first started doing on their power supplies to really set them apart from the competition in terms of aesthetics. Corsair has also done something kind of cool and that is the implementation of this multi-ring system. So every Corsair fan, whether it's an AF series, so flow optimized series, or whether it is an SP series or static pressure optimized optimized series of fan comes with these replaceable I've never done this before so I'm just kind of guessing right now but maybe yeah go like that or something so guys you just use a screwdriver put it in here pop the one clip out and then the rest of them will follow very easily and you can easily replace it with white blue or red and I'm, I'm sure Corsair will look into the possibility of doing other colors in the future whatever the case may be so there you go that's yet another innovation where instead of releasing like a boatload of different SKUs in different colors Corsair has just included everything you need to put a nice little accent color to go with your build on the fan right out of the box so I think that's kind of neat so what else can you innovate on well you can innovate on whatever this fan is optimal. Okay, we got to Sorry about that, guys. The door was open, so sound was passing right through. Anyway, um, so you can, uh, you can innovate on what they're optimized for. So the AF series is optimized for airflow. Much like competing fans, such as... No, no, don't look over now. I'll pull it over here. It's much like the Antec True, Pro, True Quiet Pro. So what does that mean? That means these are for situations like in the front or back of a case where there's very little restriction. If you wanted to use an AF series fan on something like a radiator or a heatsink, you wouldn't get the optimal performance because the way the fans are scooping the air and blowing it out towards the back of the fan, it is more, if, if there's something in the way, you're going to lose a lot of what you're trying to move through out around the, uh, in between the fins. Whereas if you have a completely open air environment, they are very aggressively scooped in order to move as much air as possible in a low restriction environment. So they've also uh, lowered the size of the hub in the middle, which gives you just more overall blade and less overall dead zone is what it's called in the middle where you're not actually moving any air. And uh, until we actually get these on the test bench, although I've got some numbers that uh, look pretty promising, um, I haven't I haven't actually done acoustic testing personally on these ones yet though in terms of the uh, subjective testing so I've seen the objective tests for their performance as well as for their noise output but I haven't really put them through the paces for how do they sound when you undervolt them do they develop any ticking do they have more of a low drone do they have a high whine so that I am really really looking forward to so there you go they are available in a variety of configurations although let's finish looking at what's in the package here so We've got a low noise adapter as well as four included black screws. Corsair is so good at those nice little touches, including black screws instead of silver screws, including a sleeved inline resistor instead of with black connectors and black cables instead of, you know, not having black connectors and black cables and not having it be sleeved. Uh, Solutions Guide 2012, bunch of Corsair products and whatnot in there, so that's good. Stop, do not return this product to the store, return it to Corsair or talk to their tech support. Right, so what all do they have? 
First of all, you can buy their fans in single or dual packs. So dual packs come with two fans inside, single packs come with, you guessed it, one fan inside. You can also get them in a variety of different configurations. So we've got 140mm quiet fans, 120mm quiet fans, and 120mm performance fans. So these are actually using the same overall blade design. It's pretty much the same thing, but the difference is the default RPM, the default noise, and the amount of airflow that obviously they will use. So what would you want a quiet fan for. Personally, I would use a quiet edition fan for running even quieter, you know, in a super silent PC kind of configuration. That was what I, that's what I would want that for. What would you use the higher speed one for? Well, if you were, if you say, for example, you had an Asus motherboard with their fan configuration, whatever it's called, uh, Easy Fan, is that what it's called? Easy Fan? Fan Expert. Fan Expert too. So you could use one of these higher performance ones to run at high speed when things are getting hot and to turn down to very low speeds when things are getting not as hot. So that's, uh, that's why you'd want a more higher performance one. Also, if you're not as sensitive to noise, personally, I'm a silence freak when it comes to fans and cooling. So I have zero interest in this one and I am all about this quiet edition one here because I'm going to turn it down even lower and see just how quiet I can get it. They also show an example of a system configured with their fans. So you can see here with the radiator there's a push-pull configuration. They're using pressure fans. You can tell from the shape of the blades. For the front of the case they're using airflow fans. You can tell from the shape of the blades again just because it's more free flow, more open air. Same thing with the top of the case. So really that is where you're concerned with pressure. Although for me personally I find there to be advantages to pressure fans in many different scenarios, even, even in the front of a case, for example, where a lot of cases don't just have free mesh in the front. So if you have a case that... Sorry about that, guys. Battery died. But if you have a case where the front panel is actually quite restrictive, then you're going to want to look at maybe using pressure fans in those scenarios. So if you need any help, just, you know, check out the forum, the NCIX forums or whatever else and see what people think. But in most cases, um, there will be a more optimized fan for your particular application. So thank you for checking out my unboxing and first look at Corsair's AF series fans. And don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for unboxings, reviews, and other computer